I can't believe it after weeks of repairs on this van we are finally loaded hooked up and ready to pull out of this driveway headed for Alaska so restart number two just to recap we went from Key West to uh, Alabama and uh, had some a little bit of car trouble <laughs> we spent a few weeks repairing that we've been down to the rally in Mississippi uh, for a test drive and now it's time to start again so here we go we don't have any definite plans today it's about noontime before we got out of the house today but here we go So here we are, um, just a few hours into our trip, and I already had a little mishap here. The cover on one of our carriers back there came off because the bungee cord broke. And so I pulled over inside the interstate to uh, fix that so we wouldn't lose our stuff. And as soon as I unlatched the door, a semi came by and just about ripped the door off the hinges. So. <laughs> So here I go, let me show you this. It's the door hinge right here and you can see the weld is broken and this is all on an angle here. I mean, the door closes and everything just fine except for this is broken. So I don't know, we'll see how, how we're gonna do on the trip. If uh, may have to have that welded someplace or do something, but uh, as I look at it, uh, probably straighten that up and fix it a little later. Let me show you what the culprit was here. Herky, you stay right here and hang on, and I'll be right back. So yeah, one of these bungee cords broke. Um, I really don't like those black ones anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, change those out. I stopped here at the old Harbor Freight to buy some more, and we're gonna change out those black ones because uh, they just don't work very good. We just stopped for some dinner. We just crossed into Iowa and we stopped at a rest area. I got in the back, put our meatloaf, see, see our meatloaf, in the microwave and now we are eating and then we'll get back on the road. This is how it's done. For the third time, we are going to spend the night here at the Iowa 80 truck stop. It's supposedly the world's largest truck stop. We're going to take their word for it. We've been in here before. Check out our other videos. Uh, we got another video where we were at this. So they have RV parking right here. We're going to park here for the night. But first of all, we got to go inside and check that out. love looking at the inside of these old trucks what a wonderful piece of machinery it is man all this chrome all these knobs all these buttons the shifter the brake pedals all that stuff man I just man I just find it really interesting but uh, this one here is uh, just on display here it's been sitting here for a few years but every time I come in here I got to stop in and take a look at it Okay, day two, we are here in Mitchell, South Dakota at the Corn Palace. And we're so excited, there's corn on it. This year's theme is Under the Big Top, 
2022. Let's take a look at this. And I have two favorite things about the Corn Palace. The smell of popcorn, which we both love, and these pillars that are in here. And each one looks like a different ear of what we call Indian corn. Let's take a look at all that. Do you see what I mean? But this next one is my favorite because it has reds in it. Look at that one. See what I mean? This year's theme is under the big top. We had full intentions on taking you on the tour that we've actually taken before. But uh, when we got inside, they had the whole inside closed because they're setting up for a banquet in there. I mean, it's okay, we're fine. We've actually seen this many times before and we're not missing anything. We did stop in, pick up a little bit of popcorn from the concession stand that was open and uh, did that. So anyway, isn't this cool? Under the big top is the theme and they change this out every year. So we're excited to be here. It's just a quick stop over on our trip. Day three of our road trip to the border. We are at a COE camp, uh, Big Ben, no? Big Ben Dam. Yeah, I think you just like saying that word. <laughs> In South Dakota, we are headed today to Wall Drug. I'm pretty excited about that. So anyway, Herky has had a huge walk. This campground was so nice. Uh, it had like little, what are those curvy things behind the table to block the sun? Oh yeah, the little wind, windshields or yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah. Which we needed last night. Of course, we were in bed. But Man, it got windy last night. It just about blew the camper over. I don't think it was that windy when we <laughs> went through the hurricane. Was... But anyway, great night's sleep. Beautiful park. And now we're on the road again. We're going to take the 130-something miles from here over to Wall, South Dakota. And uh, so, hey, follow along. But hey, look behind us at this dam and the beautiful campground. We are gonna end this video here at Wall Drugs. We've been here before, but you can't go west out 90 without stopping at Wall Drugs, right? Because right. right? you know, you get free ice water and that's important on a cold day like this. <laughs> uh, maybe the five cent coffee, I yeah. don't know. But, well, uh, we just had our lunch and they allow dogs in here. I hear that the five cent coffee is just leftover coffee from the restaurant, so I don't think I'll be trying that. Hey, we have spent the last three days just blasting out to the west here. So yeah, this video was kind of thrown together a little bit, but um, we stayed at it because our goal was is we wanted to get as far west as possible and then slow down once we got here. So we're here at the Badlands, just outside of the Badlands at Wall Drug. And uh, you'll be watching for our videos now uh, as we head up into Canada and eventually up to the Arctic Circle. So thanks for watching these past three days. I know it was a whirlwind, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.